Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. I want to explain in this brief video what is this website, where did it come from, and what's it intended to do. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years. I've studied the human condition as long as I've been alive, which is 73 years. What I've learned across these years is that there is an invisible, lethal cycle that is passing down our generations. It's causing most, if not all, personal, marital, family, and social problems. Many people are unaware of this cycle, what it means, and most importantly, how to stop it. The cycle has to do with psychological wounds which occur in children who don't get their needs met in their earliest years. They're not nurtured well, they develop psychological wounds. There are six wounds. I suspect you can't name them. The second of two things in the cycle is ignorance. In my experience as a perpetual student, most people, even college educated people, do not know what they need to know to have successful relationships, families, and be effective parents. This website is my best attempt to offer how can you identify wounds, once you do, what can you do about them, how can you prevent them, and how can you turn ignorance into awareness and knowledge. The website is composed of eight self-study lessons. They're free. There are no ads. None. The lessons build on each other. They're sequential. The first lesson offers the idea that your personality is composed of some selves, like the talented members of a sports team or uh, an orchestra. One of the implications is one of those sub-selves is leading or guiding you in your daily decisions. You have a true self who is an expert at this, and some of the other sub-selves in your personality don't trust or don't know your true self, and take her or him over. If you're guided by a false self, you will have a stressful life. Lesson 1 explains this in detail and in particular shows you how to assess do you have psychological wounds if so which ones do you have and most importantly what can you do to reduce them that's lesson one lesson two is something i've been studying for over 40 years it's how to communicate effectively in my judgment our society does not teach us how to do this you may think, well, I'm a pretty effective communicator. You, perhaps you are. You probably don't know what you don't know and what you should know about communicating and thinking, which is internal communication, effectively. If you don't know how to communicate effectively, including problem solving, you're probably not teaching your kids how to do that. That's part of the cycle as it goes down the generations. So lesson two will give you a great deal of practical information on what is effective communication, what are the five reasons we do it, I bet you can't name them, what are the seven skills you can learn to enhance the effectiveness of your communication and guard your kids against being ineffective communicators. That's lesson two. Lesson three is a subject that most people shy away from, including me. When I first began this work, I didn't know anything about it, and I didn't see any reason to study it. Lesson three has to do with the healing process provided by nature of grieving our losses. A loss is a broken bond. Healthy human beings are able to form bonds throughout their lives to people places, things, ideas, freedoms, rituals, foods, music, all kinds of things. Through choice or chance, 
these bonds break. When they do, we hurt. It leaves a hole in our lives for a while. Nature provides us with the healing process of grieving to fill these holes so we can move on and resume undistracted life. Many people, especially if they have psychological wounds, do not know how to grieve effectively or support people they care about who need to grieve. Lesson 3 focuses on explaining the three levels of healthy grief, the phases that compose each level, how to tell if you have, or someone else has, incomplete grief, and if you or they do, what can you do about it? That's lesson three. Lesson four builds on the idea that all humans, all healthy humans, are social critters, and we form relationships. We depend on relationships of all kinds to get our daily and long-term needs met. A relationship exists when person A's existence or actions affect person B in some way. That's a relationship. A large source of stress in average families is difficult relationships among members and with outside non-members. Lesson four builds on the first three lessons to offer concrete, specific ideas on what is a high nurturance relationship? What are the requisites for it? How can you improve the nurturance level, meaning getting the needs met in both people? Improve the nurturance level of the relationships in your family, even with kids, teens, and adults, and parents. Lesson five builds on the first four lessons and says, how can you evolve and enjoy a high nurturance family? Families have existed across the ages and in all cultures because they get human needs met better than any other group except possibly a kibbutz. The divorce rate in our American society testifies bleakly that American families are not working very well. On a nurturance level scale of one to 10, American families at least probably are five or less. That includes your family. I challenge you to find out what this means. Lesson five will show you once you find out about what's the nurturance level of your family, how can you improve it for your and any children's sakes? Lesson six builds on lesson five which says, how can you be an effective parent? I propose that an effective parent is someone who, with help, raises a vulnerable young child through 20 or so years of life to become a, a young adult with, with minimal psychological wounds and with awareness as opposed to ignorance. There are many things that parents can do to improve their effectiveness across the years that they do this hard and vital work. I've studied many other sources on this controversial subject. This is not just my opinion. It represents an amalgam of perhaps 40 learned people that I have respected and uh, merged their ideas with my own, uh, including the break the cycle concept, which I've never seen any other parenting source focus on. So that's lesson six. Lesson seven builds on all six prior lessons and says, here's how to build a high nurturance step family. When single parents recommit to a new partner, they form a step family. Step families are extraordinarily complicated, much more so than intact biological families. They differ in over 60 structural and dynamic ways from intact biological families. Most adult members of step families can't name more than five or seven of these differences. Therefore, they have unrealistic expectations. Therefore, there's a great deal of stress in typical step families, and many sociologists believe step families break up 
more often than intact biological families. Some estimates are 60 to 70 percent. So that's lesson seven. The final lesson of these eight self-study lessons has to do with helping you help others break the cycle. If you can, if you become convinced, as I am, that the cycle of psychological wounds and ignorance that passes down the generations and spreads silently in our culture, causing all kinds of problems, if you believe this is worth doing something about, Lesson 8 will give you some very concrete, specific ideas how to help others become aware of the cycle and its effects and how to break the cycle. Whether you have the energy to do that or not, I respectfully urge you to at least scan lessons 1 through 6 or 7, if you're a step family, or maybe, with the kids in mind who are living in your home or in your family or who are yet unborn, I urge you to invest time and effort with other adults that you care about. Study lessons one through six. Learn who's running your life. Free your true self. Learn how to communicate and grieve effectively. Raise the nurturance level of your relationships and of your family and learn how to parent effectively. I hope you find this website clear, challenging, useful, instructive, and welcome you to the Break the Cycle website.